What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and in this video I'm going to attempt to kill Pyro Pete, the Ultra Invincible, at overpower level 8, using the Infinity Pistol. Now obviously I'm also going to be using the B Shield, because without it, the Infinity is basically worthless. The Infinity is nothing more than an inaccurate B delivery system, so we're going to see how it does here against Pyro Pete. Obviously this is not Zero's best option for mobbing or raiding, and that's a, you know, well-known fact at this point, but I figured I'd still use this gun to go ahead and kill Pete. Now I'm going to be using the B shield to boost the damage, as I mentioned, and I also have a inflammable version to avoid that Nova as well. I'll be using the Legendary Sniper Calm to boost skills such as Precision, One Shot, One Kill, Headshot, Kill Confirmed, and Velocity, which should all help me out with killing Pete here. Other skills that will help a lot are Ambush, Rising Shot, and obviously Death Mark and Death Blossom. Badass Rank will be off. I will also be using a Bone of the Ancients Relic to boost my shock damage and my cooldown rate for my action skill so that I can use Death Mark and Death Blossom more often. What we're going to do to start the fight is obviously knock off Pete's face shield using the unique sniper rifle, the Trespasser. So that's what we're going to do first. Hopefully we're able to do it in one shot. I'm using the legendary sniper comm, so it should be pretty good if I manage to get that shot off on him. There we go. It took two shots, but not that bad. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start whittling Pete's health down using the infinity pistol. Getting some bad Pete AI right now where he's kind of standing a distance off from us, and that works out in my favor. Go ahead and keep getting some more critical hits on him here. Wish my B-Shield was up for that. Obviously, without the B-Shield, this gun is almost worthless. With the B-Shield, though, we'll get some damage. I'm wearing an Alkaline B-Shield right now, though, so I'm not worried about his first Nova. Gonna go ahead and switch to the Inflammable B-Shield so that I don't forget. Go ahead and get Slag and Deathmark on him again. And try to get more B-Shots. So we're wearing down his shield at a decent rate right now. That's pretty good. Obviously though, um, this gun is basically getting almost all of its damage from the B shield. And if it was more accurate, you know, we'd be dealing a lot more damage because we would have more critical hits done. Luckily Pete though is not that dangerous and we can keep the B shield up very, very easily. So here comes his Fire Nova. Again, that's why I have on my inflammable B shield. Alright, so we're going to need to get behind the scaffolding before we break Pete's shield. Otherwise, he's going to do a double element Nova, which will cause damage over time to me. And that's obviously something I want to avoid. So now I'm going to hide behind this scaffolding so that I don't catch this damage over time Nova. Alright, so now we're going to get to working on the rest of Pete's health bar. This will be a little bit more difficult and slower because we will not be getting the boost from the correct element. And obviously we're also going to have to avoid his Novas now. I'm going to work my way back over to the scaffolding because I'm not exactly sure when his next Nova is going to be coming probably going to be right after this particular um, acid lob stage though so I'm gonna be ready for that avoid that using the scaffolding here keep slag up on Pete and we'll just keep dealing damage to him using the B shield and also the infinity as my inaccurate B delivery system So, obviously we're going to have to be very cautious here as to not take too much damage and not get caught with a damage over time. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, good. I am out of uh, transfusion grenades. That's bad news. And I have now caught a corrosive damage over time. So, that sucks. And I'm going to have to put on my slag pimpernel in order to um, slag him now, I guess. And I'm also going to need to wash off this damage over time. Go ahead and jump through that there. Go 
Good that Peach Jump was a little bit inaccurate there. Alright, so we've killed the spider ants now. I'll try to avoid any future damage over time so that I don't get um, in that situation again. Use the scaffolding right here to avoid that. I was pretty close on that one, but I ended up getting lucky enough to avoid it. Ooh, I was worried that kunai there on the scaffolding was going to deplete my shield, but it did not, so that was good. I should probably look into opening an ammo box so that I will have more grenades for slagging purposes. I really dislike how inaccurate this gun is. It's quite annoying. So Pete happened to be opposite of us there, so that was good. Opposite the scaffolding, I should say. Wow, that transfusion grenade did a very, very poor job slagging him. Alright, so, try to get some good shots off on him here. I should have brought a bladed infinity for the killing blow, but I forgot. Really, game. Really. Alright, so it got me uh, corrosive damage over timed again. And that's awfully irritating for me. But, I guess on the bright side, it gives me a time to open that ammo box. And maybe we'll get some grenades from that. Alright, it is going to be paramount that I manage to kill these spider ants. Otherwise, my bee shield will not be able to be up. So, I'm going to have to work on hitting them before they get over to me and deplete my bee shield. Luckily, Pete's uh, orbs took care of that for me, and I was definitely in trouble already there. Avoided Pete's next damage over time, Nova. And we've got one more spider ant to deal with. Alright, so now we can get back to killing Pete. I did a very poor job there. Um, I guess my timing with Zero isn't really that great, because obviously with sniper rifles, he's dead by now doing a lot of this jumping at me too more than he usually does I'd say getting closer to halfway done now that's good ah finally managed to avoid a damage over time twice in a row so that was good stuff We'll keep trying to deal damage to him here. We got him into the Invincible, and we're working towards Ultra as far as the words under his health bar go now. And that's always good news. Alright, so he's going to throw out some acid lobs here. Hopefully they don't damage us from that far away. And then we're going to wait out this damage over time, Nova. We're going to create some space out here. We only have two of these slag grenades left, and I just threw one of them. So hopefully it slagged him, and it did. We'll just keep whittling Pete down now. He's into the Pete, so that's good news. There was his first acid glob stage, so after the next one, we're definitely going to need to be behind the scaffolding again. Damn it, Pete. Quit jumping. Bad Pete behavior. Oh my gosh. That is just poor. He's not supposed to do that. Oh well. Um, I think maybe the game recognizes that I am using the infinity pistol, and it's mocking me a little bit by giving Pete really bad AI where he's not doing all of his necessary stages and it's causing me some issues I'm not gonna lie but you know with zero ordinarily I have Pete killed by now obviously Pete takes less than a minute with zero so wasn't really prepared for that nonsense Go ahead and tank this damage over time behind the scaffolding. 
grab these grenades here since I'm going to need them and, you know, for some additional slagging. Alright, get my B-Shield up and hopefully we'll be dealing some more damage to him now. So, maybe if Pete jumps, he'll do his acid globs a little bit sooner than uh, he otherwise would. And so you gotta watch out for that. Or not his acid globs, excuse me, his damage over time novas. He'll skip the acid globs if you catch him jumping. And then, man, he's just, he's not doing the second acid glob stage. It's really throwing me off. Perhaps I could have uh, restarted and got a better time if Pete was giving me better behavior, but we're about to finish him off, so now he's just going to stand still and die. He does that sometimes. It's really weird. Anywho, uh, that's Pete, the Ultra Invincible at overpower level 8, using the Infinity Pistol. Obviously, it's one of Zero's worst options for raiding. There are other niche guns that um, obviously would be even more uh, difficult and time-consuming to use and everything. But as far as, you know, a weapon that people actually use, this is one of the worst ones that people choose for Zero. It's a very, very bad gun. Obviously, if we wanted to kill Pete fast, we wouldn't be using this. We'd be using this because it takes all of 48 seconds to kill him like that. And it's definitely the better option. However, we were able to kill him using the Overpower Level 8 Infinity Pistol. So I guess that's good news. There's the skill build I was using and my badass rank was off. I do apologize for uh, <laughs> catching so many damage over time, Novas. That definitely was not my intent. Either way, though, we managed to kill Pete, and so that's good. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask those in the comments, and I'll try to answer those for you guys. And if you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, as always, I thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys. Little side note here. Um, Pete's body appears to be gone. I think that's just because he didn't want to actually show himself dying to the Infinity Pistol because it is so damn embarrassing to lose to a gun this bad. At least that's my theory. Anyway, catch you next time, guys.